From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest continues to revolutionize the way we interact with and think about our vehicles. And of course, with all kinds of very cool breakthroughs, infotainment technologies, in vehicle innovations, leading the, the pack, if you will, in all kinds of cool tech for our vehicles. He is the president and CEO of Ford Motor Company. Welcome back into tomorrow, Alan Mullally. How are you, sir? I'm great, Dave. It's really good to be back with you. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Two years in a row, and you've been here, of course, uh, doing uh, major keynotes and, and a lot of attention uh, appropriately being given to Ford products on how you guys are continuing to lead the way in technology, and I asked you here on the show last year if you thought of yourselves as of a car company or more of a technology company, and you said technology, and you happen to make cars, right? Yeah, well, absolutely, and what's really neat about the Consumer Electronics Show this year is that, uh, well, first of all, to be invited back, uh, which uh, with words like cool and relevant and the integration of all of the technology, the consumer electronics, with uh, an integrated lifestyle in our car, making us a better driver, yeah. but also access to a wired world. But also, uh, the uh, new Ford Focus was named the car of the Consumer Electronics Show. And remember right. last year, the Ford Taurus was named. And so, to see the excitement on the faces when we revealed the new products today is just uh, so exciting. For sure, and, and your keynote, as always, was fun, upbeat, got a lot of people's attention, and <clears throat> the throat, of course, is the first thing to go here in the desert. You know, we're, we're from Miami, lots of humidity. Come here, no humidity. <clears throat> Goes right to the throat, so pardon me for that. Uh, but tell our audience some of the fun things that you were able to share with us uh, during your keynote. Oh, you bet. And I. I might just say that uh, this really was into tomorrow. Oh, this was into tomorrow. <laughs> and what we described today is we revealed uh, for the first time in an event like this, the new Ford Focus all electric vehicle. It Very is cool. fantastic. And uh, the response was just overwhelming because you know, clearly Ford has had a tremendous technology roadmap that delivers not only the best in class quality and fuel efficiency and safety and of course smart design like Sync and My Ford and all the fabulous safety features, mm -hmm. but with Ford's scale and intellectual capability around the world, we're able to bring that to the consumer with the very best affordability. So today, we took another step on our technology roadmap, improving the internal combustion engine, direct fuel injection, turbocharging, uh, alternate fuels, uh, ethanol, uh, cellulosic, then moving to electrification with hybrids because they're the leader in hybrids, as you know, yeah. uh, today. Then the plug-in hybrids with a little bit bigger battery. Then the all-electric Focus. And we also described the Focus off, off the new C1 platform. Fantastic uh, machine. Uh, we'll make two million vehicles off this platform with 10 different top hats that the customers can choose from. Whether it's a four-door, a five-door, a hatch, a wagon, a small SUV, a multi-activity vehicle, the sport version, the ST. And you can imagine with that scale and 80% of the parts being the same, customized to the, re the, the customers around the world, how we can bring that to everybody with the best value. But maybe, if I might go on a little bit more, oh, Dave. Please. Okay, well, okay. well, first of all, it's all about choices, and well, you guys have, have figured out a way to do that where they have their own car, we, and yet it's all the brains are, are similar because you got it all worked out. Absolutely, <laughs> and the power of choice. You could just see everybody's eyes uh, light up because whether it's a, uh, you know, Ford also made a commitment that we'd have a full family of vehicles, small, medium, and large, cars, utilities, trucks. When you walk into that showroom today, and here's that lineup, starting from small to large, the Fiesta, the Focus, the Fusion, the Taurus, the Mustang, the Escape, the Edge, the Flex, the New Explorer, the Expedition, the Ranger, the F-Series, the E-Series, and the Transit. Right there now, all fo Ford Focus brands, complete family, best in class in, in, every, hmm. in every class. And today, not only did we, we introduce the Ford Focus Electric, but we also introduced all of the applications that we have to help us manage an electrified life. Where do we want to charge the vehicle? How are we going to plan our trips? What's the right time to charge the vehicle so we can get the best pricing on sure. the off-hour grids? How do we want to manage the vehicle itself so that we use the minimum amount of electricity so that we can get the maximum range and performance? And so the, the, the buzz and the conversation was, my gosh, Ford is the automobile app of choice. Oh, ooh, yeah, thus into tomorrow, yeah. driving into tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. And of course, when you talk about the first ever all-electric vehicle, I'm, I'm hearing kind of our listeners in my head saying, 
how far can I go on that, though? I mean, at least, you know, the hybrids would kick in if I needed it on the highway and that sort of thing. Am I going to get the speed and performance, and is it going to get me where I need to go? Well, this is really important, and what we have decided is to provide all of the choices that they might want to make. So, for example, if depending on where you are, the infrastructure, how it's built out, it'll be different for everybody. So sure. the Ford plan is is to give you, the customer, the choices that work for you. Petrol, diesel, hybrid, normal hybrid, six, 700 mile range, uh, a plug-in hybrid, a little bit bigger battery, use a little bit more electricity, a little bit less range, or the all electric vehicle, which clearly has less range, but is the most efficient vehicle. And we also have designed the vehicle, Dave, and the production system, so we can make those vehicles on the same production line. So as really? you choose which vehicle you want, we can move the vehicle of choice up and down the production and match the production to the real demand. So no technology demonstrators like some of our competitors or one-offs. This is all of the Ford vehicles are going to have this technology roadmap going forward. And it makes it very productive for Ford to be able to make this all happen for us as consumers. And timely, because you're yeah. going to be able to order the vehicle, get the vehicle you want uh, quickly and affordably. More info, obviously, at Ford.com, and you've got to hit them up because you've got to see these new vehicles. You've got to see the stuff that, that Alan's talking about in his keynote, the, the innovation that this company is doing. And by the way, once again, kudos without tax dollar bailout money. I, mean, I can't say that enough. We've talked about it for the last two years, the fact that you were able to do this as a company, as an American company, making it happen for themselves and not saying, quick, I need more money. Get, just keep it coming. Absolutely. You know? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so uh, uh, pleased for everybody that you know, we put this plan together uh, over four years ago. Uh, we went to the banks uh, with the, this plan on the strength of this plan and what we're going to do. They loaned us you know, a small home improvement loan, remember, about $23.5 billion. Yeah, a small home improvement loan. I am loan. so, so <laughs> pleased, uh, Dave, that last year we paid back nearly $13 billion of that. So we're, we're moving back to being net uh, cash positive. We're profitably growing, yeah. and we're on our way back to investment grade. And I'm so pleased that we didn't have to uh, ask for our precious taxpayer money. And, and who would have thought, but, you know, based on the strength of our great products, this, the way people feel about Ford because they're creating a viable, growing business yeah. the right way um, is really uh, been very satisfying for Ford. I think you give the rest of us entrepreneurs hope for the American dream, that it can happen and we don't need people to just hand it to us. Absolutely. <laughs> we can work for it. Love it. Alan Mullally, always a pleasure to have you on the show. The president and CEO of Ford Motor Company. Again, Ford.com. Hit our site up at intotomorrow.com. We'll link you, of course, to his site and all of our guests and all the videos. Got to check out. You'll see the highlights of the Ford vehicles here at CES on our highlight video. Lots of cool stuff. Alan, Ford thanks so much. Ford into the future with Ford. Yes. Drive one. <laughs> Feel the difference, Dave. <laughs> You ought to be doing your commercials. Mike Rowe does a great job, but come on. I want to see you in Mike there. Mike Rowe is fantastic. <laughs> Maybe he and I will help you next time. We'll do, we'll do a nice thing sure together. Good to, sure good to see you. Yeah, I love it.